everyone, it's Jack Cotton, luxury real estate expert, agent, and author, and I'm still driving from my appointment now. I showed the house, people really liked it, which is great. Even in this terrible weather, they like the property a lot, so we'll see if we get an offer in the next day or two. But as you remember last time, we were talking about branding and the promise of a brand, and you know, sometimes you a brand can over-promise and under-deliver, and sometimes it can um, over-deliver and under-promise, like the Volkswagen Phaeton. But anyway, it got me thinking about my English teacher back in high school, my senior year in high school. I have this guy, Mr. Fales, which is a great name for a teacher, F-A-L-E-S, Mr. Fales. He was my English teacher, and I actually wasn't good in any subject, but I was really not good in English. But there was something about the way he connected with his students in general, and me in particular, that really made him a great teacher. But one thing he taught us in the midst of you know, writing skills and composition skills and organizational skills was also presenting your writing product skills. He was preparing us for college when we'd be writing big term papers, and he had us write practice term papers, and an important component of his teaching was how the paper looked when we were done, because you could write a really great paper and turn it in with a, a crummy looking cover. We had no word processing in those days, with like a handwritten title page or something like that, you know, with a, with a crummy typewriter, with, you know, a, an old ribbon, back then, he talked about the importance of you know, treating your term paper with a certain amount of reverence and having a certain belief in your product and that it was presented properly like with a black cover, with a typewritten cover page, with crisp white paper, no wrinkles, no smudges, no finger marks, and a clean fresh ribbon in your typewriter. You could take a regular paper and it might get another half a grade higher than it would otherwise just because of the presentation. So the sort of piggybacks on what we talked about last time when we talked about branding and different cars and how the brands are portrayed and think about your pre-listing presentation and how that's packaged. All my stuff that I do now, I think about Mr. Fails and Senior English and I try to make all my presentations look as great as possible. My CMAs, lots of exhibits, lots of pictures, lots of charts, graphs and arrows, clean you know, pages out of a word processor and really nice hard covers with gold embossed stamped logo on the front. Same thing with my pre-listing package. I print them with Shutterfly, shutterfly.com. So they look like a coffee table kind of a book. Presentation is everything. And even if the content is you know, better somewhere else, presentation counts for a lot. So make sure that you're setting the bar high with your brand and make sure you are meeting the promise of your brand when you make that promise. So we'll talk about maybe more about this next time. Send me your questions and examples of your, your branding and the promise you make with your branding. And one of these days I'm gonna find a car that I really like. This is not it, I guarantee you. And um, until next time, oh, one more thing. Um, don't forget, if you have a luxury listing, send it to me, we'll promote it in this mailing. We've got thousands of people now who are subscribing every single week. We can do a referral between and among ourselves. And don't forget to check out luxuryrealestateacademy.com where I'm going to be announcing some web-based web luxury real estate training that you will really benefit from and profit from and excel from. So watch for that, luxuryagentacademy.com. So, a lot to cover. Make it a great week. Until next time, think about your brand.